Greetings ladies, welcome to Lady in Waiting. I'm Kathy Washira and I'm happy to be back. And today I'm here to answer a question from one of the ladies and she has written, she wrote to me and said that the man who has proposed to her does not work. Uh, she, okay, I don't know how the man lives, but he has not worked for two years. So I don't know how he's been living for two years. So she's asking me whether she should uh, accept this proposal. Though I'm not the one to, to decide whether she's accepting or not, but I can give counsel concerning this. And I pray that even as I'm answering this, I'll be helping many other women here. Kindly ignore my background today. Children have closed school. So I have to be in a place where the place where there is the least noise. Okay. So, uh, listen. It sometimes in our, and that is why our hearts are broken, especially when we are in, in, our, in our pursuit for marriage or pursuit for a spouse. It, it's very, very easy for you to lower your standards. And I think if you've been listening to my teachings, there, there is a certain pattern I'm trying to set uh, to help ladies said there are certain things you cannot lower your standard you can lower your standard on superficial things for example how someone dresses how someone makes their hair how someone you know that those things that can change the color of your hair how short how long what you wear how you wear it those are superficial those are things you can lower your standard those are sometimes we marry people who don't dress the way we want or they don't come the, you know those are things that can change with time you know those are things that that are changeable but there are things that you cannot lower your standard something like someone not working and having not worked for two years for me that is a red flag because how are they living and how are they, now that they're proposing to marry you how are they going to marry you where how will you start <laughs> you know so so for, for me uh, that that is something that uh, you cannot uh, you cannot you can't lower your standard when it comes to that and i'm just speaking this i'm not deciding for you whoever wrote this to make that decision and anyone listening to me but there are things you cannot lower your standard one thing you cannot lower your standard is someone's relationship with god when it comes to a man the fear and honor of god let me tell you sometimes the only thing that keeps a man can help a man, can help you keep, it's just the fear of God. Fear of God sometimes is what just will make them not do some, some certain things. And I'm not saying that all men who fear God don't, but at least that can help a little bit, you know. Fear and honor of God, those are things you cannot, you cannot, you cannot lower your standard. In other words, their spiritual life, you cannot lower your standard on that. It has to be, you. someone, as a believer, you must be agreeing on when it comes to things of God. Secondly, the thing you, you cannot lower your standard is work. Is this person hard working, hard working towards a vision? And work, it is regardless of what they do. Listen, if, if someone, the, what they do, they, they sell charcoal and someone else is a CEO in the office, as long as they're hard working, because even the charcoal seller, as long as he's hard working and continuously hard working, that means this person, at some point, this hard work is going to pay. So he's working towards something. The CEO is working towards something. All of them are they're working towards their vision. Even if someone, the, what, the, even if so, I don't know what kind of a job it is someone does or what kind of business, as long as they are working, there is hope because this hard work is going to pay. This hard work is going to pay the bills. This hard work is going to help you people live. But when someone is not doing anything, how, where, how, do, how are you going to start? Okay, fine. You, you he proposes. You say yes. You start to leave, and then who is going? Who? So it means it's you. No, and for someone who has, you know, it's a different thing. If someone tells you they lost their job a few months ago, but they've not worked for two years, that that should tell you something. And, and for me, that that is a very very big red flag. I'm sorry. Number three, honesty. You know, honesty, honesty, and honest, honesty has to do with character. Someone's character. Remember, you cannot change a person. Someone who has not worked for two years, to change them will be very hard. Two years. Uh -uh. So how has he been living? Who has he been living off? Because there must be someone who is paying his bills, whether it is his parents, dangerous. Whether it was another woman, more dangerous. Now you want to be the third? Mm -mm. 
So those are things you can't lower your standard. Don't lower your standard on someone's spirituality. Don't lower your standard on someone's honesty, which has to do with character. They must be honest. Honest people, because when they're honest, even that little business that they do, they're very honest about it, and that means it is going to grow. You know, or that small job that they have, it is going to grow, you know. Vision and work, those are things you cannot, you cannot, you, you cannot lower your standard. Lower your standard in anything else. Anything else. But that one you cannot. So I, I, I hope, listen, it is better to be alone than to marry the wrong person. You don't want to spend the rest of your life with a jobless man who you married knowingly, knowing very well he was jobless. Now you have married as if he used to work. Or he works, he leaves. He, over, he works for a week, he, he loses joy. He comes, he says, the boss has done this. Oh, people don't like me. Oh, you know me, me, me. No. You cannot live with a jobless man. You, you, you're going to struggle. You know? And I'm not saying, listen, uh, I'm not saying that every, anytime a man does not have a job, they're a bad person. No, sometimes people lose their jobs after they've gotten married and they can take a while that's a different thing but entering knowingly this person you married him knowing that he has a he has a he, he, he's known for not working so you now you think when you marry him he'll start working let the man start working and let him work for a while there is no hurry you can marry him anytime even five years from today you can still marry him but i have a feeling even five years he might not be working he'll look for someone who will tolerate his joblessness. I hope I've been able to answer you. God bless you.